Hey, my name's Trevor Murray. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Zoom F4 from a factory reset with the best settings possible for sound mixing. So to set up a Zoom F4 from factory reset, first you're going to want to turn on your mixer. So at first you'll be presented with the set date and time. Using the selector knob, you're going to want to change the year to the correct year, 2023 in this case, month, and day. With that, next up, we've got the time. So set your time to the time zone that you're currently in. For me, that'll be 1, 16, and just for the sake of the video, we're going to go to 17. And then you go to your enter, and just like that, you're on the main screen. Now the next step you want to go into is you want to go into your menu using the menu button. Go into record slash play. And then on record to SD1, you're going to want to set this to TR1 through 6 plus left and right. Then hit menu again to back out. Make sure your sample rate set to 48 hertz. Your wave bit depth to 25. And that is it in this menu. So hit menu again. That will bring you out to the main menu. Next up, you're going to want to go to your time code. So using that selection knob, scroll down to time code TC and change mode to internal RTC run. Make sure it's checked. Go back to your menu, menu again, and change your FPS to whatever you're shooting with. Typically for film, we shoot at 2398 or 23976. From here, you should be set. So go back to your menu, the main menu. As you can see, we're back on this screen. And you want to change your trim by clicking in on the selection knob and making those to fader. Switching to fader makes it to where these front knobs become fader knobs, and you can control your left and right mix with these. So if you add some, that channel 1 here is getting sent. Channel 2 is not. Now you have one and two both going to the left-right mix. Also, you can click into PFL, and this will allow you to set your individual mic trim or gain by clicking into the trim menu and setting whatever you'd like for your mic. Currently, I'll just set it to 30 for this example and click menu and menu, and you get back to the main screen. Now to make sure that your channels are armed, you want to click on the number. So 1 is now armed, 2, 3, and 4 are not. Now 1, 3 are, and 2, 4 are not. And that'll be it for today. I hope you were able to take some of these skills and incorporate them into your workflow. If you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great one.